ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارهاب ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما brothers and sisters after praising allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and send the salawat on the messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam today our khutbah we gonna talk about around this ayah woman you to allah wa rasula faqad faza fawzan azima the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam whenever he get opportunity to address to people to the jamaa he always used to recite this ayah as many of them but this one that we going over today is those last ayah in khutbah al-hajj that every friday we recite it wa man yuti'i Allah wa rasuluhu faqad faza fawzan azima Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said that whosoever obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger faqad faza fawzan azima indeed without any doubt that person he achieved the the, the greatest achievement and if you ask all of us here we all want would like to be successful in this dunya and hereafter and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he created us and he gave us a direction how we obey him how we get along how we be successful in this dunya also in hereafter allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned all of this in his book this is the reason why he said zalika alkitab la rayba fi hudan lil muttaqin that this is the book which is the quran was inside the quran la rayba fi is no doubt inside the book himself hudan lil muttaqin it is a guidance for everybody now 
هدى من متقين is guidance for those who's gonna obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow the book. You can realize yourself, today we have a lot of problem. Lot of problem all over. Between the country and the country, between friend and friend, between, it's all over. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Peace be upon all those messengers. The way of those messengers is the peace. Any other way than their way is a chaos. And people would like to experience this. And they are going through every day. But we don't understand. We have to go back to the book. The one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that this is the book that I revealed to you and it is a guidance for you. We have to go back and study this book to get along with each other, to have a better society, good friendship, good everything. Only if we go back and refer ourselves to what the Prophet said about this before we do. What did he say about this before we do? If we make that our way, we're going to have a lot of easy way. As Allah said, Fakad Faza Fawzan Adhimah. He will be successful, not just regular success, it's the greatest, the biggest, the most important success the person will have. And those messengers, as Ibrahim alayhi salam said, وَبَعَسْ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا وَبَعَسْ مِنْهُمْ رَسُولًا يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِكَ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْهِكْمَةِ he asked Allah to send a messenger after him, Ibrahim alayhi salam. After him, he asked Allah to send another messenger among them so they will understand. It will be easy for them to understand. A messenger could come from angel, from anything else. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decide by his mercy that this message that come from among ourselves. Somebody that we know, somebody that we get married to, somebody that we used to be with him day and night. Allah did not bring the message so I was enough just from the sky. No, he used to be with the people. They know him, they know his parents. They know everything about him. And he sent him as a messenger. So he can teach them this book and the wisdom that is necessary in this book. But today, how can we find the smartest man on earth that doesn't know nothing about the Quran? That doesn't know nothing about the hikmah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is why smart we think we are as we go as we go you're gonna see this person that we think is the smartest one he's gonna do the dumbest thing that you ever see in your life why because whatever he's doing he's doing it his own he's not doing based on huda he's not doing based on any type of guidance it's just making up thing making up thing making up thing and at the end you're going to get stuck. If we want the peace, we want to be comfortable, we, get, we want to have a better life, we want to have a good wife, we want to have a good children, all of this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, to obey him. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in a gathering, Ali ibn Abi Talib, the one who reported this hadith. He said that the Prophet said, 
إذا فعلت أمتي خمسة عشر خسرة هل بها بلا دا إف ماي نيشن ماي نيشن دو ففتين تين دا بينا سبوس دو the punishment will become automatically it will appear and then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he starts to talk about those things he said ida kana al maghna mudwara when the muslim property become profitable only for few people what belong to Muslim, few group of people, they manipulate that, they do whatever they want to do with it, without the right way of based on Quran and the Sunnah, that if that happen, it will be a problem. وَكَانَتِ الْأَمَانَةُ مُغْنِمًا when the trust also, when we trust people with it, that come become like a self property. Somebody trusts you to give you something, you use that the way you want it without his permission. Was zakat to mahrama? When zakat also becomes something that's like a waste, like person will think. This zakat, it belongs to me. Giving it to Allah, it's like wasting it. When the zakat become like this. Brothers and sisters, we have a problem. Let's talk about zakat for a second, even though it's not our time. When you think about the zakat, we know, especially in this type of country, most of people, they can give a zakat. Because they be able to save thousands and thousands of dollars yearly. But where does zakat go? A lot of us we do not give any zakat. That is no good. Everybody attached to what? Even most of the Imam also, they talk about zakat to fetish. They say after Ramadan, Ramadan, zakat to fetish was well, no. Most of the people they give zakat al fitr But the regular zakat, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, when the zakat, the money that person is supposed to give free sabiri become like he's wasting. He can be wasting his money. This money don't belong to Allah. He's not supposed to go back to people. When the person start to when we start to think like this, it will be a punishment. He created a problem. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, وَأَطَوْا أَرْلَجِلُ زَوْجَةَ When time comes also, that a man will obey his wife, وَأَقَا أُمَّهُ And he will disobey his mother. He favored his, his, his wife in everything. The wife have all, all the right that she need. When it comes to mother, she doesn't get nothing. Wallahi, a mother called me even less than a week. He said, talk to my son, even just to sit to talk. Just to sit to talk. I bring the food so we can eat. If the opportunity to me, for me to talk to him, it's not possible, too busy. I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back, running around. When the time comes when the man will obey his, his, his wife, he give all the wife her right, and then he will disobey the mother, there's going to be a problem also. When the time comes, that an individual also will be so nice with his friend. The friend call him, need him, whatever, 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 everything is on time. Wajafa Aba, when his father asks him whatever it is, 
It's not possible. The father has to chase him. But the friend, they always say, oh, this brother is a good man, he's a great man, he's good, he's good. He take care of everybody, take care of everybody. But when he comes to the father, nowhere to be found. The Prophet he said, when you see this also, it will be a problem. Then he said, When the man or the woman, they start to raise their voice in the masajid. Masjid is not a regular place like any other place. We have to respect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his house. It's not for any type of conversation. It's not for anything to be done in the masjid. The masjid is very limited. The masjid is for the ibadah. It's to worship Allah, prayer and study. Prayer and study. This is what the masjid is for. It's not a place where we gather together and argue day and night. It's not a place also where we just make it seem like it's a restaurant. It's not a place we make like it's a, it's a, a some hall where we have to have some type of show there. It's not for this. When you ask him, Sha'ir Allah, fa'innaha min taqwa al-kuloom. The masajid belong to Allah. We have to respect the masajid. When you see the man, they start to screaming, to laughing, shouting in the masjid. When you see this, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said it will be a fitna also. وَكَانَ الْزَعِيمُ الْقَوْمُ أَرْزَلَهُمْ Also, when the time comes, when you see the great people, the people that we're supposed to respect, they become like the lowest people. The person we're supposed to respect in the community, they put those people on the side, like they have a statement, we don't want to call him or whatever, whatever. Somebody was there before somebody. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't care about all of this. The great people in the community, we have to respect them. We have to give them their position. We have to respect them in any kind of way. We cannot put them down because we're for whatever reason. When you see this, that the people that we're supposed to respect, we're supposed to honor, and we put them down, when you see this, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said it will be fair now. Then he said, وَأُكْرِمَ الرَّجْلُ مَخَافَةَ شَرْبِهِ وَأُكْرِمَ الرَّجْلُ مَخَافَةَ شَرْبِهِ You will see people expect this man because he is a troublemaker. He is a troublemaker. If you don't respect him, you may have to go somewhere else. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when you see this also, it is a problem. People will expect the man because he know how to curse. He can beat you. He can backbite you. He can put a dirt in your white throat every day. He talk about it, so he have that type of energy. People fear him because of this. They respect him because if you have a problem with him, he's really going to take you down. Of course, brothers and sisters, when we have our people like this among us also, of course we have to be careful with him. If he's going to take a one, give him the one dollar every day, he leave us alone, we give him dollar every day. This is the best way. We talk to him, but whatever he take for him to not be so aggressive on you, find what to do. Bring some food from your house. Give him whatever gift. Show him that you love him. Some kind of way. Because human being, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
the way he created us, we help one another. And we are the one take one another down also. When you say billionaire, people the one who came and gave him the money. When you see poor people, you're going to see that nobody also gave him anything. So we need each other. So if we have a one of us that's so aggressive and he's pushing everybody around with his mouth or whatever, we find a way to calm him down. Because if not, he will be fit now. وأقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم واستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وبعد إن الرب صلى الله وسلم كيسين وأكرم الرجل ما خاف من شره that the people will respect the man because of the harm that he had because of this people will respect him when you see this also the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم كيسين it will be a punishment coming to the Ummah. Wa lubis al This is another problem. When the man start to wear silk, today, how many Muslims know, 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 care about this? People wearing all type of clothes today. But the silk is not halal for Muslim men to wear. But then people are wearing. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam like he said, when you start to see this, it is fitna also. His punishment is coming. And then he said, Watch your body more. That when the men start to drink alcohol or whatever to get high, when you start to see this, and people start to find excuses to legalize all of this. When you see that, brothers and sisters, know that our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when you see this, know that the punishment is coming. When you see people start to invite people start to invite the singer, like we see this whenever we get married. Whenever our young people get married now, you see that lot. They come to masjid and they say this is the marriage. After that night time, they invite some people to come and sing or whatever, whatever, whatever. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was saying, and today actually you don't even need that. Before, they didn't have this all of this audio. So they used to invite the people to do this for them. They invite somebody to come and sing. Today, we don't need this. What we do, we just have everything on the cell phone. People listen to music. That also is not permissible. What Ma'az is also in the music. Walana has he an ummah? Awalaha. That this ummah, Walana Akhir has an ummah, this ummah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the last people like us, we will curse the only people. This is why you say it, you see today, some people, even you say, even the Sahaba. They can say something bad about Abu Bakr Siddiq. We have the one say something bad about Umar ibn Khattab. And those great people that passed before us, we say something bad about those people. We curse them. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, when you see all of this, this is when you're going to see that it's a problem. 
the punishment will come. So brothers and sisters, understanding that whoever want to be successful in his life, this life and here after is only one thing, is to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obey his messenger. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَنْ يُتْعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَ فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا You want to be great success, you really looking for great success, is to obey, obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After we do this, we're going to see that things are working on our side. And disobedience, they have an effect. They have problems that come after all the time. All the time, no doubt. When you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's going to come back on you. And if you obey Him also, it's going to come also. So this is our life, brothers and sisters. Woman, you tell Allah wa Rasulah, whosoever obey Allah is messenger, faqadifaz a fawzan adhima, he have achieved the greatest achievement, brothers and sisters. We need to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to change our way. We have to encourage each other. We have to remind each other. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, wa fil akhirati hasana tawakina dhabana. Rabbana la kuzumurubana ba'da izalitana, wa hablana min ladunka rahmatan inna kanta al-waha. Rabbana salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammad, kama salli ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim. Wa barik ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammad, kama barik ala ibrahim. إنك حميد المجيد أخي المسلم